The federal government says it will start monitoring the lifting of crude oil in Nigeria through the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. And the Central Bank of Nigeria has injected more foreign exchange into the money market. All of these and more on Roots TV Nigeria's Top 5 Business News. Welcome, I am Itogi Mo, Edit. The federal government says every barrel of crude oil produced and exported out of Nigeria is now being tracked by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. FG and the FCC recently commenced a tracking of vessels lifting crude oil from Nigeria. The monitoring will also tell where it is going to for the purpose of discharge. The Central Bank of Nigeria injected another sum of $210 million into the interbank foreign exchange market. Figures released by the CBN indicated that authorized dealers in the wholesale segment of the market received $100 million, while the small and medium enterprises and the invisible segment were located $55 million. Recall that on Friday, the bank injected $289.76 million into the retail secondary market intervention sales and 38.70 Chinese yuan into the spot and short tenor forwards of the interbank foreign exchange market. Meanwhile, the Central Bank of Nigeria has issued a regulation on the end-to-end -end electronic payment of salaries, pensions and other remittances, suppliers and revenue collections in Nigeria. The Apex Bank discloses in a circular to all deposit money banks, other financial institutions and the general public. In the regulation, the CBN introduced a penalty of $2.5 million on DMBs and other financial institutions on every repeated occurrence of specific infractions and termination of the use of the unapproved end-to-end e-payment solution. Shareholders of United Bank for Africa are expecting the announcement of a final dividend for the 2018 financial year. This followed the approval of the bank's financial statement for the year ended December 31, 2018. In a notification to the Nigerian Stock Exchange, UBS said its board of directors last Monday approved its financial statement and payment of dividends to shareholders, subject to the approval of the Central Bank of Nigeria. The bank paid a total dividend of 85 copper in 2017, comprising 20 copper interim and 65 copper final. And finally, the Nigerian Port Authority says it is expecting 20 ships carrying petrol products, foods and other goods to Beth at their Papa and Tinkan Island port from January 30 to March 29. Three of the ships will sail in with petrol. According to the report, the other 17 ships are carrying box sugar, general cargo, base oil and containers carrying different goods. And that's our package. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all of our social media portals. I am Itogi Moore, Edit. Thank you for watching.